my channel. So today I went to the thrift store. Um, so obviously I haven't been to the thrift store in so long. And the reason is like, I mean, well, one, my husband's gone. So I really have no one to watch the kids, but with COVID going on and everything, I was like, let's not. Um, and I usually go to the Goodwill bins. The reason why I prefer a Goodwill bin, I think they're called Goodwill outlets or I forget, but I prefer those instead of a store just because they're cheaper. So you actually pay by the weight um, instead of by each item. And usually those Goodwill stores is, I'm pretty sure those Goodwills is whatever didn't sell um, in the actual stores or I forget how it works, but they're usually just huge big blue bins that you have to kind of dig through. Um, and I usually get more for my money. I love those, but I'm not trying to bring my kids to that kind of place because it, it is a little bit more dirty. I will say that. Um, but I went to the actual Goodwill store today and I went to like the nicer one in my area. And I was so excited, guys. I got so many good finds. So I spent a total of $44. I did round up um, so that the rest of my change went to the Goodwill um, donation. I, honestly, I'm not too familiar with how it what it is but pretty much like helps people with jobs and everything like that so i spent 44 dollars and i got a lot of clothing items and i also got some halloween stuff and a lot of stuff for the kids so i guess we'll start with the kids first um so obviously when i say kids it's more so landon um since asher is still pretty little which he's right here um so the first thing i got was this crayola dry erase crayons this was a dollar 49 this is actually brand new my little one actually did try opening it because he wanted to play with it but they are crayons um and you can use them on a dry erase board and i have a dry erase easel downstairs and i just i don't know i'm like weird about leaving the markers out for it um but yeah it comes with like a mitt that you can clean it all off and i thought it was so cool and it has like a sharpener and a dollar 49 that's not bad so I'll probably just keep this right at his art easel downstairs um, just because, yeah, I mean, $1.49. And I've never seen dry erase crayons before, so it comes off easily, but we'll see. The next thing I got was this um, Scarecrow foam kit. Um, it was $0.99 cents for only one, um, but whatever. Um, it looks like this, but Landon's super into foam crafts and everything like that. You should get like things like this at the Dollar Tree, and we actually just did one with Frankenstein, um, and he really loved it, so I got the Scarecrow so we could do it for um, fall. Is that the word? For fall? For Thanksgiving? I don't know, but I got that. The next thing I got, so, <laughs> so this is actually from the Dollar Tree. And when we went to the Dollar Tree a couple days ago, Landon saw this and he fell in love with it. He was like a ghost, ghost. And he liked it because it says, Hey, Dollar Tree, smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. Um, and I was going to let him buy it at the Dollar Tree. And then for whatever reason, we came home and he was like, Mama, like, where's Ghost? And I was like, you didn't, did you not buy it? Like, I thought it was in the cart and stuff. And he was helping me unload my cart. My dog is sniffing my camera. Um, and I guess we didn't buy it. So he was really, really upset. When we went to Goodwill today, he ran when he saw this and he wanted it. And it actually works. So I'm kind of glad. Uh, and it was only 29 cents. So I ended up saving 70 cents. So he got it back because he really wanted it. Next thing my toddler really wanted was this. This was 49 cents. Um, it does light up. I had batteries in it earlier, but I took them out. Um, but he's like super into Halloween right now. He's two and a half. And he's super into Halloween and skulls. So, I don't know. But he really wanted this, so we got this. And I guess he can use it for Halloween, so whatever. So I got that. The next thing I got was this cute... Oh, wait. Let me go with the kids stuff first. Uh, the next thing I got was I let him pick out something from the kids section. Um, and I let him get this. This is a Fisher-Price guitar. It was only $4.99 and it works and everything. Um... So yeah, he got this. And both the boys can play with this, so it's nice. So the next three things that I got were these books. And the Goodwill, it's 99 cents for the books. Um, and I got three of them for the boys. And the first one is super cute. Um, first of all, we spent like a good solid 20 minutes 
sitting on the floor at Goodwill in the kid, t um, the kid book section, looking through all the books. So my little one loves books. So we got some. Um, so yeah, this one is the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Clubhouse Christmas. So it's super, super, super cute. Like, and I like these kinds of books because these are um, the cardboard pages. Landon is still not trustworthy with like paper pages. Like he literally will rip them. So um, we still use cardboard ones. But this one's really, really cute. Um, and I'm always looking for new books, um, especially for like the holidays and stuff, because I just think it's so fun. The next one is perfect for Halloween. It says, where is baby's pumpkin? And it looks like this. And this one actually has um, flip, like flip pages. Um, and Lana really likes those, so I got this one. I thought this would be really fun. So, got that one. And the last one is probably my favorite. It's Olaf. So this one is Olaf Welcome Spring. And this one's a touch and feel book, so it has like the things that you can touch and feel. And I thought it was super, super cute. Like, how can you not? So adorable. So, got that. That one. So now we can go into the fall stuff. I actually only got like two fall things. Um, they didn't have like a ton of fall stuff out. A lot of the stuff was more Halloween and I'm not a huge Halloween decorator. I prefer to decorate for fall. Um, so the first thing I got was this cute little scarecrow. He was only 99 cents and he's like, he has um, a flat bottom so he can just sit on anything. I think he's so cute. Um, he was 99 cents so I did grab him. Um, I don't even have any scarecrows so I thought he'd be really really cute. Um, I don't know where I'm going to place him just yet but I thought he was adorable. So cute. And the next thing I got which was probably like the best thing. Um, out of everything I got this is probably like my favorite thing that I bought. So this is a pumpkin. Um, I believe it's an outdoor pumpkin. So it's made with like ceramic. Maybe it's not because it has like the little things. I don't know. But I'm planning on putting this outside. So this is the pumpkin. Um, it's from Hobby Lobby, you guys. It's $29.99 Hobby Lobby. And I only paid $5.99 for this pumpkin. And from Hobby Lobby, $29.99, like that's a steal. Um, I plan on DIYing this and I will um, use my Cricut to make a stencil and I'm going to do the letter T on this. And I think it'll be super, super cute. Again, I think I'm going to put it outside my front door. I don't know yet. I just don't want anything to happen to it. Um, if not, I will find somewhere in my house for it. I literally love pumpkins, so I'm sure I can find a home for it. But yeah, I got this and this is my favorite thing that I found. Um, so now for the clothes. So... I got a lot of good clothing items. Um, so the ticket price today was, ooh, I'm just, um, I think yellow tags were 30% off and then the purple tags were 50% off. So I got some good deals. First, I got these jeans from Mason Jewels. I don't know, um, but they're super, super cute. They're like just skinny blue jeans. Um, they look like this and I only paid $3.99 for it, which $3.99 for jeans. Yes, please. So the next thing I got, I'm actually planning on wearing it for when I go pumpkin picking this year. If I go, I'm planning on still going, even if it's just me and the boys this year. If you don't know, hubby is deployed, so. <laughs> and this one is acting the fool. So, so yeah, I found this and I want to wear it pumpkin picking and having the boys kind of match me. This one, this is actually from J. Crew, and it looks like this and it has like a tie bottom and I think it's, I think it's so cute. Um, this was $4.99. I think this was, this was $4.99. I don't remember if this ended up being $3.99 or $2.99. I don't know, but it was less than $4.99. This one I got, it's like this white, um, tunic shirt or it could be dress. I think I'm going to try to wear it as a dress for some photos. But like, look at these sleeves. I love the like bell sleeves. Um, and this was $2.99. So the next thing I got, this is probably like one of my favorites. Um, I got this sweatshirt. It is the softest thing ever. Like it's so, so, so soft. It looks like this. But guys, again, look at these sleeves. And actually, oh, let's look at it this way. Look at these sleeves. How stinking precious are these? 
Um, and this was $3.99. Um, and then the last clothing item, was that the last one? Yeah, I think so. Shirt that I got is Lauren Conrad, and I paid $1.99 for this shirt. Again, look at the sleeves. Guys, how freaking pretty are these? Like, I, all, all my shirts pretty much got the bell sleeve, but they're so pretty. Um, and yeah, I'll try to incorporate what they look like on once I wash them. I definitely need to wash them first before I put them on and try them on. So I'm quickly gonna film this on my phone, but I want to show you guys the pieces that I got on. I'm gonna try them on for you and kind of show you guys them. Don't mind it, because it's like the next day. I'm filming on my phone, I have no makeup on, um, and I'm ready for bed. But I wanted to film for you guys um, what they look like on. I so. thought that this dress was more so gonna be a little longer. <laughs> it's definitely not, it's definitely a tunic. Um, so unless, at least on me it is. Definitely a little see-through, um, but I'm also wearing a black bra and I would probably wear like a little tank top or something underneath, but um, it's definitely longer than I thought, but I feel like it still looks really cute. Um, I still feel like, I mean, I mean, if you wanted to wear like shorts underneath, I guess you could be a little scandalous, but I'm 5'2", um, so yeah, I don't, but yeah, I mean, I think it's really cute. Um, definitely gonna keep it. Again, I love the sleeves, like, come on so cute so yeah these are the jeans i think they look so cute they look so cute um they fit like literally perfectly um they literally are like a perfect fit so definitely a good on that this shirt is super cute definitely wrinkly right now but i have no makeup on so don't mind me but um Super, super cute. Um, I definitely love it. Definitely needs to be steamed right now. I think this shirt would look really, really cute too with like a little mini skirt with like um, knee high boots. I feel like that would look really cute. Not my style. I definitely don't feel like I could pull that off so I probably won't wear it. This shirt is so soft, um, like so soft. I didn't realize that this only went up to the elbow and then it cinches down. Um, it's still really cute, but I did think it was full length sleeves, but I still think it's really, really cute. Like. Um, it's so soft and again, it's like just another basic, but I love basics. I feel like this is the type of basic that just looks really nice because it's very simple, very casual, but it's just the sleeves just make all the difference. I honestly think all the shirts that I got had a bell sleeve except for the flannel, um, but it's just so pretty. I think it's so cute. So and I'm so glad that everything has fit me because nothing sucks more than when you go to the thrift store and then things don't fit you because then it's like, Ugh. but everything's fit me so far. This is so soft. Like, I want to sleep with this. This shirt, you guys, like just look at these sleeves. Ugh. I think bell sleeves are just so flattering and they just make such a plain top look so dressed up. Um, I love this. I feel like I want to get like, um, like a really pretty statement necklace for this or like a longer necklace or something. Um, but I just think it's so pretty. Um, I just have it tucked into these jeans, same jeans. Um, I think it's so pretty. I love it. I love this color too. It's like a really pretty. This color looks a little purple, but it's like really pretty. Um, and yeah, I really like this shirt. So excited. I got some really good finds. Um, like I said, I going to a store with two kids, let me just tell you, is a lot of work. Um, literally, I had this one in the stroller, and then I had Landon like walking around following like us and stuff, and He's only two and a half, so for him, he sees so much stuff and he gets so excited and he just, he did really, really well at the store though. He usually does pretty good at the store. He does better at the stores than he does at my own house. Like he's well behaved at stores and then at my house, it's like a whole other child. But he did really, really well. He loves the store. Um, he loves buying new things. He's like his mama. So yeah, um, I want to go again. I think now that I've been once, for me, I think it's more so, it's hard because it's like going anywhere with two kids is just a lot of work, but it's just so nice to get out of the house and like do things I love. I love thrifting, you guys. I love buying anything um, like cheap. <laughs> it like makes me happy to know that. So yeah, I'm really happy. Um, I literally love thrift hauls and I used to post a lot of them, but I slowly stopped. I'm filming on my phone to end this outro because my camera just died. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys want more thrift hauls, let me know. I will gladly go spend all my money for you guys. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.